Hey everyone, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up, and today I'll be going through on how to set up your very own Raspberry Pi temperature sensor. Like most of the sensor tutorials, this is pretty straightforward, consisting of basic circuit and some code. The circuit that we need to build is pretty straightforward, as we only need a resistor and the temperature sensor. The sensor that I'm using in this tutorial is a waterproof version of the DS18B20 sensor. It simply looks like a very long cord with a thick part on the end. If you have just a plain version without the wiring and the waterproofing, it looks exactly like a transistor. This sensor is pretty accurate being within 0.05 degrees Celsius of the actual temperature. It can handle temperatures up to 125 degrees Celsius or 360 degrees Fahrenheit, but it's recommended that you keep it below 100 degrees Celsius or 210 degrees Fahrenheit. This device also has an onboard analog to digital converter so we're able to easily hook it up to a digital pin on the Pi. Keep in mind not all temperature sensors are the same, something like the TMP36 will not simply replace the DS1820B in this tutorial. The TMP36 is an analogue device, making it slightly harder to integrate with the Pi, as the Pi doesn't have any analogue pins. So, to put together the circuit, first connect the 3.3 volt pin from a Pi to the positive rail on the breadboard. Also connect the ground pin on the Pi to the ground rail on the breadboard. Place the DS18B20 sensor onto the breadboard. Place a 4.7K resistor between the positive lead and the output lead of the sensor. In my case, this is between the white and the red wires. Place a wire from a positive lead of the sensor to the positive rail on the breadboard. Place a wire from the output lead of the sensor back to pin 4 or pin 7 if you're using physical numbering of the Raspberry Pi. Finally, place a wire from the ground lead of the sensor to the ground rail. If you're having trouble putting the circuit together, then be sure to check out the circuit diagram over at PyMyLifeUp.com. The code for setting up the temperature sensor is a little more complex than the circuit itself. This is just because of the way we need to handle the data that comes from the sensor. Before we make the Python script, we need to first set up the Pi so it can actually read data from the sensor. To do this, we need to add one wire support. To add the support, we first open up the boot config file. This can be done by simply running the following command, sudo nano forward slash boot forward slash config dot txt. At the bottom of this file, enter the following. dt overlay equals w1 dash gpio. Once done, save and exit by pressing ctrl x and then y. Now reboot the Pi by running the following command. sudo reboot. Now you can skip to downloading the code onto the Pi or you can follow the next few steps to make sure the sensor is working. Once Raspberry Pi is booted back up, we need to run mod probe so we can load the correct modules. To do this, enter the following commands, sudo mod probe w1-gpio and sudo mod probe w1-firm. Now change into the devices directory and use ls to see the folders and files in this directory. To do this, cd forward slash sys forward slash bus forward slash w1 forward slash devices and then ls. Now run the following command, change the numbering after cd to what has appeared in your directory by using the ls command. If you have multiple sensors there will be more than one directory. For example mine is cd 28-0000-7602 FFA. Once you're in the directory, run the following command, cat w1 underscore slave. This should output data, but as you will notice, it's not very user friendly. The first line should have a yes or a no at the end of it. If it is yes, then a second line with a temperature should appear. This would look similar to something like t equals then a number. You'll need to do a bit of math to make this a usable temperature that we can easily understand. For example, Celsius, you simply divide by a thousand. Now once you've confirmed all that, it's now time to move on to the Python script. So first go back to the home directory by entering cd tilde. I'll briefly explain the code now. If you want to download it, you can simply download it by running the following command or heading over to pymylifeup.com 
git clone https forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash climber life up forward slash temperature underscore sensor dot git. Once it is downloaded, open up the directory by entering cd temperature underscore sensor. Now open up the Python file by entering sudo nano temperature underscore sensor underscore code dot py. Now to begin the Python script we import three packages os, glob and time. Next we run the mod probe commands, these are the same as what we used before. We then declare three different variables that will point to the location of our sensor data. In the read underscore temp underscore raw function, we open up the file that contains our temperature output, we read all the lines from this and then return it to the code that has called this function. In the def underscore temp function, we process the data that we got from the read underscore temp underscore raw function. We first make sure the first line contains yes. This means there will be a line with a temperature in it. We then find the line with a t equals and then get the numbers that are after the t equals. We then convert this into a Celsius temperature and a Fahrenheit temperature. We return both of these to the code that called this function. This is the print function within the while loop. The while loop we have is always true so it will run forever until the program is interrupted by an error or the user cancels the script. This while loop simply calls the read temp function within the print function. The print function allows us to see the output on our screen. The script is then put to sleep for one second every time it has read the sensor. Once you're ready, we're able to run the Python script by simply entering sudo hyphen temperature underscore sensor underscore code dot py. Keep in mind you've got to be in the same directory where our code script is for that command to work. You should now have an output of temperatures in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. You can alter this to just display your preferred temperature scale. I'm just going to do a quick demo on heating up the sensor and also cooling it down. As you will see, the temperature will climb if I place the sensor into the hot water. If I place it into a glass of ice, then the temperature will of course drop. There are quite a few things that you're able to do with this sensor. I will quickly mention a couple of ideas that I will probably be doing in the future. You can have the Python script connect to a database such as MySQL and store the data that way. If you add a timestamp with the data, you'll be able to look back on the data in the future and compare any changes. You can use the data stored in the MySQL database to make some pretty nice graphs to show the temperature over the course of a day, month or even a year. You can make it plot graphs in real time too. I hope you have been able to build and get this Raspberry Pi temperature sensor working. I'll be looking at incorporating this sensor into future projects so stay tuned. If you come across any problems, have feedback or anything else feel free to leave a comment below or over at pymylifeup.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.